Thank you po Ate Ella sa pag-read ng ating uh, words for today. And uh, good morning church. Good morning, good morning and uh, happy new you. Sabi nga last last week. Amen. So now sige pa uh, bago tayo mag-start, let's start in prayer. Hallelujah, purihin ka Panginoon. Lord, thank you Lord for this wonderful morning, Lord, as we glorify you. And uh, thank you, Lord, for using me again to share your words, Lord. Lord, uh, uh, may may I share your word to our to my brethren's Lord, and uh, at uh, Lord, sana po ay uh, ma open nilang kanilang puso panginoon para sa inyong mensahe panginoon. Lord, yet we uh, we give you thanks and we give you the highest praise in uh, Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Na nabanggit kanina la uh, it's mentioned earlier that uh, the word marites. Because uh, what is the year today? It's year of Rarabit. No? I believe today is, because last year is the year of the Marites. And this year, 2023, it's the year of the Sharonian. Sharonian? Oh, that's the way. No, it's the year of the Lord. Amen? Yes, that, that's why uh, our message for today is... Uh, Dali lang po. If I will say some some items and uh, let me uh, test uh, what's what's come out of your mind. Uh, so this one, Sharonian. This this bus, uh, What do you call it? This pa uh, paper bag. Take out, storage, Tupperware. Take it away. Talabat, yes. That is our topic for today. Take out. Yes, balutin mo. Yes. That is the Tupperware, the storage container, the paper bag. Ano yung nilalagay natin dito? Take out. Then how about your heart? Anong dapat natin ilagay? sa puso natin. Amen. Be before before we start because uh, we are we are talking about take out. Let's start with the type of the uh, always what we are mentioning in this church the the Sharonian. The Sharonian. What is the Sharonians? Those are the people who always present in the buffet table. They are the one taking out na laging nagte-take out ng mga tira-tirang pagkain. Sila yung laging may dalang bag. They're, they're, sila yung sila yung umuubos ng Tupperware ni Kuya Marlo. Kaya please lang pakibalik niyo na po yung mga Tupperware. Amen. This is so this is the the uh, professional Sharonians. Professional. So they are always carrying their own their own uh, storage they have they have bag they have tupperware who else have tupperware here yes there there is one there and there is that uh, silent type of sharonian those those people who are taking a lot of food on their plate then once they they uh, nakaupo na sila sa table nila they have bag hidden it and they will they will hide it yes that's why that's why some of the party they are not allowing Sharon. Lalo na pag konti lang yung handa. They are not allowing Sharon. So, may mga Sharon yan ba dito? I know because lagi ako nagserve ng food. Kilala ko kayo. <laughs> wag kayong magkaila. <laughs> Amen. Yes. But there's more hin There is another type the obvious one is the Sharonian. But there is another one. That is the, the Noranians. Huh? What is the Noranians? Who is the Noranians? These are the people who always say, No! They say no! They say no to everything. When you ask them to uh, food, they said, No! Busog pa ako! Diba? When you ask them for to attend fellowship, they say, no, busy ako. They say like that. There are the Nuranians. Do we have Nuranians here? 
Oh no! <laughs> it's I see that there is there is an Oranian there, and the Sharonian, the Oranians, and there is one more. Ah, huh? oh yes, the Bilmanians. Yes, nakatakot itong ano na to. There are the Bilmokunyan, Bilmokunon. Yung laging nagpapabili. Yung mga kuripot. Yung mga kanjus. They don't want to spend their money. They just want free stuff. They are the person who always, uh, sila yung laging laman ng mga grocery store. Sila, sa, 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 sa minsan sa mga barkada natin, di ba? There is always one who, who always who always ask for free stuff. Yung laging sabit. Amen? But don't take me uh, wrong, brothers and sisters. I'm not saying that being a Sharonian, an Oranians and Bilmanians is wrong. As long as we know what is important to store in our bag. Amen? What is the most important? It's the word of God. Amen? Sabi sa binasa ni Ate Leia kanina, isa Psalms 119 verse 11. Sige po, basahin po natin. Sorry po, hindi ko mabasa yung ang Bible. Amen. I have treasured your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. The word of God is the most important thing that we should take out every time we go to church. Don't, sabi nga, don't focus on the food, the physical food, but focus on the spiritual food. Amen? Amen. So, there is nothing wrong for becoming a Sharonian as long as you are a Sharonian who always take and carry the word of God. Amen? Always take it with you. There's nothing wrong to be an Oranians as long as you say no to the works of, of the enemy. Amen? It's okay lang na maging Oranians as long as you know when to use it. When the enemy attacks, no. Amen? It's okay to be a Bilmanian. A Bilmanian as long as you become a believer who exercise and share the generosity of our Lord. Hindi ikaw yung nagpapabili, but ikaw yung nagbibigay. Hindi ka, you are not the Bilmokonyan, Bilmokonyan, but bigyan kita nito, bilhan kita nito. Become a generous believer. Amen? Hindi always pakabeg. Ang ating Panginoon is always nagbibigay. That's why we, beca- we need to become a generous Bilmanyan. Amen? In the Bible, there is also a Sharonian, Noranians, and Bilmanyan. Do you know uh, Joseph the Dreamer? Yes, Joseph the Dreamer. What happened to him if you are familiar to him? He been sold by his brothers and sisters to the Egyptian. But before he was sold, nakapag-take out si Joseph. Ano yung na-take out niya? The, his faith and the promise of God. Hindi niya yan iniwan. Lagi niyang bitbet. And at that time, he was also tempted by the wife of Potiphar. But he ran away. He says no. He become an Oranian. He ran away from the temptation. And he become a generous believer. When, when the time comes that uh, uh, the time of drought, the, the, uh, they ask Joseph to manage the selling of the crop. But, and I believe that binenta to ni, ni Joseph ng fair price. Hindi niya ito mabibigay ng libre because this is not from him. This is from, from the payroll. But I believe because he's a man of God, he gave it as a fair price. Amen? So, Joseph the Dribem become a Sharonian, Noranian, and Bilmanian in a good way. 
Amen? The, the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. Familiar kayo? Amen? You're familiar. Ano yung na-take out? Ano yung take out ng Good Samaritan? He have the goodness and compassionate heart. Yun yung take out niya sa Panginoon. Those, the, the, the Levite and the priest, they don't want to help the, this, this man, the wounded man. But because the good Samaritan have a take out of a goodness and compassionate heart, he helped this guy. And he says no to a normal pattern of this world. What is the normal pattern? Because the, the Levites and the priests, they don't want to help because they are, they are thinking if we touch this man, this is, uh, this is unclean. They are, that is their belief, so they don't want to help it. But the good Samaritan, he say no to hypocrisy. He helped this man. And he is also a generous believer. He paid for this man's expenses. Very generous, sabi niya, pag kulang pa, dadagdagan ko. That's how generous he is. Amen? And lastly, uh, Peter and John heals the lame beggar. Nakapag-take out din sila. When, when the beggar asked uh, 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 Peter and Joseph, he is expecting to have something. But what Peter said to, to this lame beggar, Silver and gold I don't have. But what I have is from Jesus Christ that I will give you. Anong take out niya? He carry with them the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? He's, they said no to temporary uh, solution. That is the silver and gold. You can give silver and gold to a layman, but after one day, the problem is the same. So what they give is the generous healing and miracles of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Sometimes we neglect the word of God. We neglect the Bible because it's just there. Minsan sa bahay natin, yung Bible naka-display lang. As, as, a, ano lang, as a reminder, but we never uh, truly open it and read it. You never know the value of something unless nandun ka na sa problema. You, alam nyo ba yung, yung, yung isang bagay na pag nandyan lang marami, hindi natin pinapansin. Pero pagdating ng panahon, biglang tumataas yung value niya. Parang ano? Parang sibuyas. ba? Diba? It is scattered here. It is very cheap here. How much? 300, 150 pills per kilo? 300 pills? But in the Philippines, 600. 600 pesos, around 4.5 BD per kilo. You never appreciate the value of something unless bigla siyang nagmahal unless he become unavailable. The word of God. Eh, alam, alam niyo mga kapatid yung, yung word of God from 2,000 years ago until now, the value did not change. The word of God is a precious treasure. It is priceless. It is valuable. But yet, 2,000 years from until now, or after, before 2,000 years, before the word of Jesus Christ, nandiyan na yan, sinulat na ng mga, sa Old Testament. But the price is remain free. Amen? Di ba napaka, napaka buti ng ating Panginoon? It remain free. But, kaya, what, what are you waiting for, mga kapatid? Take out nyo na. Isharon nyo palagi yung word of God. Amen? And, and do you know that there is, that even our Lord Jesus Christ, nagsharon din? Before Jesus Christ, uh, before Jesus Christ ascend to heaven, nagsharon din ang Panginoon. Nag-take out din. 
what is the what is the Lord Jesus Christ take out? He take away the sin of this world. First Peter two twenty four. Sige po basahin po natin. Amen. He personally carried our sin on the cross. Before he ascend to heaven, he takes our sin on the, on the cross. Amen? Second is, he takes out the wrath of God. Uh, Romans 5.9. Sige po, let us read. Amen. He saved us from God's wrath. Before Jesus, before Jesus Christ came, we are destined to face God's wrath. But because love, yeah, God loves us so much that He take this one with Him on the cross. Amen. And He takes away our alienation from God. Romans 5, 10 to 11 it says there, for it while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through we have, we have now received reconciliation. Before we are alien, sa harap ng Panginoon, tignan nyo nga yung mga kapatid nyo, katabi nyo, baka may alien pa dyan. I believe walang alien dito. Because we are already reconciled with God. Amen? Sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon, tinanggal niya yung alienation natin. Before we are enemies of God, but dahil sa ginawa ng Panginoon, we, we, we become, we reconcile. He reconciled us to God. He take away our alienation from God. Amen? And He takes away the shackles of the enemy. Colossians 2.15 And having disarmed the power and authorities, he made the public spectacle of them, triumphing them over, over them by the cross. Amen. Before Jesus Christ ascend to heaven, he makes sure that you are free. You are free from the works of the enemy. Tinanggal na ng Panginoon yung shackles mo from sin. Huwag ka nang bumalik dyan. Amen? And lastly, He take our, our sickness and diseases. Matthew 8, 17. That I might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He Himself took our infirmities and, be, and bore our sickness. We are now in good health because the Lord Jesus Christ took away our sickness and our infirmities. Nag take out ang Panginoon. And this bag, this bag is very heavy. No one can lift this bag except for Jesus Christ. Kung hindi dumating yung ating Panginoon, andyan pa rin yan sa atin. But God loves us so much that He take this heavy, heavy take out. Very heavy. That's the power of God. Amen? Amen po? Amen. So, dahil nag-take out ng ating Panginoon, dahil, dahil tinake out ng ating Panginoon, we are now free. Pinalayan na tayo ng ating Panginoon. Alam yung pinakamagandang ginawa ng Panginoon? Na take out niya sa mga ito? He take us out from the darkness. Amen? Taas yung kamay nang nawala na sa darkness. Amen! Tinanggal na tayo ng Panginoon sa darkness. We are now living in the light. Amen? So, ano yung, as, as, as a receiver of the God's words, ano naman yung dapat natin i-take out? What should be our take out? The Bible is like an open buffet. A buffet of spiritual food. Kita niyo, ang daming pagkain. Ang daming, daming natin pwedeng pagpilian. The Bible is like that. 
It's a buffet of spiritual food. And it's free. When we read the Bible, when we read the Word of God, make sure that we have always take out the good news of salvation. Amen? The good news is that it is free. You can take it. You can share it to anyone. Amen? Make sure that you take out the love of God. It is overflowing. Like the chocolate fountain in the, in the buffet, the love of God is overflowing. Hindi yan ang ubos. So take as much as you want. Take faith. We need it more. We need it in our everyday life. Amen? And take the blessing of the Lord. It is abundant and no shortage. Hindi yan nagkukulang. Hindi yan parang lumpia na laging nire-repeal. But hindi, kahit kumuha ka nung kumuha ng blessing ng Panginoon, hindi yan nawawala. Amen? It's always there. Take the teaching and correction. When we read the Bible, sometimes we'll just pick which one is good for us. Parang sa buffet table, kinukuha lang natin kung ano yung masarap. Pero iniiwan natin yung hindi masarap. Hindi po ba? When we are taking the word of God, take both. Both the teaching and the correction. Huwag kang picky. Huwag kang mapili. Huwag kang maselan. Because this is good for your spiritual growth. Amen? Hindi lang yung, yung nakakabuti sa atin, yung, yung pakiramdam natin na masisihan tayo, but kunin natin lalo yung makakapagpakorek sa atin. Amen? Yung makakatulong sa atin to grow as a, as a Christian, as a believer of God. Amen? And take the fellowship, the fellowship of the Spirit, so He can guide us. And take the fellowship of our fellow believer. Mas masaya kumain ng magkakasama. Amen? It is more fun to grow together to the Lord. Amen? And I know I, there is more to take out because this is a buffet of spiritual food. So, read your Bible. And whatever that is healthy for you, take it all in your bag. Amen? Amen. So, mga kapatid, hindi lang pagkain yung, yung, yung ating inuwi. Hindi lang pagkain yung ating sinasharon. Higit sa lahat, we must pressure God's word in our heart. Amen? That is our spiritual storage, our heart. Because the word, it is your light. Sabi sa Proverbs 4.13, Hold on to my teaching, don't let it go. Guard it well, it is your light. Amen? So treasure the word of God in your heart because it is your light. And treasure the word of God in your heart because it is your light. Psalms 119 verse uh, uh, 105, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Amen? And treasure God's word because it's bring, it brings blessing. Luke 11, 28, But he said, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen? Treasure the word of God in your heart because it is our shield. Uh, Proverbs 30, verse 5, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in Him. Amen? And lastly, the word of God is Jesus Christ. John 1, 14, And the word become flesh and dwell among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen? So I hope this morning that your heart is filled with God words. And wag niyong iiwanan yan. Take out niyo. Share it. Amen? Because the Lord God want these things for us. He want us to be a good 
and better Christian who always takes and treasure the word of God in their heart. Amen? So let us let us uh, close in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your words, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that uh, uh, you help us, Lord, to understand, Lord, what is what is the most important things, Lord, that that is your word, Lord, the, your salvation. Thank you, for, Lord, for taking us taking us out in the darkness. And thank you, Lord, for taking away the sin of this world. Thank you, thank you Lord, for, for uh, helping us, Lord, to uh, understand your word, that what you did in the cross is always for us, Lord. Lord, hallelujah, we give you honor.